miles per hour, not in monies per bank. Tonight, Christmas holiday havoc, COVID ruins travel plans, families left in limbo. New South Wales sets a national case record and there's disturbing news about the Omicron strain. Also tonight, the desperate search for a 14-year-old missing in the Georges River. Australia frustrated as at last England shows some fight in the Adelaide Test. And summer's finally here. Temperatures soar. How long will it last? This is Nine News with Mark Burrows. ...along the coast. And a thank you. Well, in the news ahead, a mother's extraordinary courage paying tribute to her little boy as a nation digs deep for the victims of the Jumping Castle accident. Also tonight, fire rips through a psychiatric clinic. Why police suspect arson? It's been a year like no other. We meet the Year 12 students from the southwest of Sydney who've been given a unique path to university. The bizarre social media post from New South Wales Health that has Delta Goodrum fuming. And Tiger Woods makes his long-awaited return to the course with his son Charlie. Nine News, brought to you by KFC. KFC delivers, now on the KFC app. full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Russia could be ready for a full-scale invasion of Ukraine by early next year. Well, ahead of nine news from Leppington to Brookvale, the Sydney suburbs that have just joined the Million Dollar Club. Also tonight, a record jail sentence for a thug who attacked police during the Capitol riots. A post-pandemic gold rush, the Aussies buying buckets of dirt, hoping to strike it rich. And the big man in red on a big red bus spreading cheer to families in our northwest. Only 398. Big deal days. Only at the good guys. A new education. I news. Ahead of nine years, the property market ends the year with a bang. Mark, dozens of Sydney suburbs have just joined the Million Dollar Club and they're right across the city. I'll have the details in a moment. Also tonight, protesters take aim at sports giant Nike. Plus Betty White going all out for her 100th birthday. And Emma Lawrence joins us now with Sport and Emma, finally England shows some fight. Mark, unfortunately they have. Joe Root and David Milan battled through the entire first session after day two ended with lightning and a magic moment for debutante Michael Nisa. Why Mitchell Pearce has the need for speed before his French adventure. And we'll see how Team Australia fared in the final of the Sale GP on Sydney Harbour. got swallowed by a whale. I'm like, what the? Where am I? Someday. This sports report brought to you by Sportsbet's new Bet With Mates. Start your group, bet together and share the moment. The home sold for nearly a million over the reserve. Plus, Delta Goodrum furious over an Instagram post from New South Wales Health. And it's party time for Betty White, who's about to turn 100. Cars can look substandard. Improve the look with a better fitting plate. With more sizes now available to suit more cars, which would you choose? Visit myplates.com.au
that forecast, Mark. Let's hope it stays that way. I wonder he's dancing. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's nine news for this Saturday. Sylvia Jeffries is next with The Current Affair. I'm Mark Burrows. From all of us in the newsroom, have a great evening. I'm Sylvia Jeffries. Welcome to A Current Affair.